Brian. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and lock. A match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 76. Nasdaq's off 56. S&P's down 14. Gold contract uh, trading up uh, $2.70 at $17.06 an ounce. We have silver up 17 cents, eighteen dollars sixty-seven cents an ounce. Lights recruited up five bucks, one hundred two forty-eight. Notes and bonds: the ten-year note down six ticks, trading one eighteen fourteen. The thirty-year down twenty-eight at one thirty-nine oh five. And king dollar, king dollar is down seven hundred thirty-three ticks, trading at one hundred seven three thirty. Euro is one hundred one. Yen is at one thirty-eight. British pound is at one nineteen to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You have the spy got up to three eighty nine. You tried trading at three eighty three. Couldn't hold price. This is though how you make actually a longer term bottoms, folks. So this is going to be really intriguing. My take is that we're going to get a heck of a bounce. The reason I'm saying that is that you know, first off, we you know we kick this baby off. We we get down hard. On the 17th of June, we went straight down from the, you know, March 29th. We come back down again, tested, rejected. Come back down again, tested, rejected. Back down again, tested, rejected. That's saying the market wants higher price. Uh, this in particular today is really cool and is really deviant. I mean, and the cool part about it, folks, is that this is what normally markets will do when they want to go higher. And the deviant part about it is it's very unusual when you can have Europe hold price and we don't have hold price. Europe is in a lot worse situation than we are, folks. Um, so I kind of like the setup. I, I actually do like the setup because of all those deviations that are inside it. Gold. Gold contract once again sold off as it got up to this uh, 1722 area. We're holding out up two bucks, 143,000 contracts. You're going to need a lot more contract volume than that. And it's going to take some uh, real strength to get back inside the 1730 area. Now, that being said, the dollar, and this is the one to keep your eye on, folks, okay? The real question is going to be, how much further will the dollar go lower? Or is this like a, a one-day wonder? You know what I mean? That it pulls back 727 ticks. We'll see. You know, the top of the strength, you know, the dollar, the dollar's had quite a bit of strength, period. But on the 5th of July, that's when the, the dollar went up uh, 1,700 ticks, okay? Well, the top of that is the 106,792, and this held there today. It, it actually didn't even get to that point. It, 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 it changed at 106,892. Uh, not that it went up a lot, but bottom line, it was, it was enough that... The, the market itself was saying, okay, you're going to go back up on me because you go back up on me, man. I'm going to sell this market off as quick as I can. And you're going to see the correlation is direct. The low of the dollar was established at 11 o'clock this morning. It's been trying to go up since then. And each time t that each tick that that dollar goes higher, the bottom line, markets go lower. End of story. Some of the high volume equities out here. What do we have? You got advanced micro right now up 58 cents. Apple's down 260. You get Nvidia up uh, three bucks. We have uh, Tesla up six dollars. Freeport Mac Rand's up a buck eighty four. Let's go look at the co copper contract because this copper contract. You talk about having you know some real volatility, man. This thing is like wild. So we're up seven and a half pennies out here today. It's been a straight line move down. You know for the last month from four fifty eight a pound. Uh, hit a low on Friday at 3.13 a pound. All right, we'll see if we can get some tra tra traction here. Um, it's possible we can get some traction. This is the first day up. Let's get over to the oil contract. We take a look at the oil contract. Oil contract trading up 4.73. You're at 102.32. 
71,000 contracts. So that's not a lot of contract volume, that's for sure. Get the price going with it. Now, 10. Yeah, this is good. It actually, it's got, getting by ice, man. 10153 is ice. So that's saying that this thing can, you know, get up there into the. 111. It's going to be really hard. It's digging into that monster bar. That's when we, we had come down $14 in one day. That We came down from the 111 to the 97 area. We'll see how that's going to basically shake out. Let's go take a look at the uh, Amazon, the king dog out here, and see what that's doing after. You had the prime day. So Amazon start pushing with some volume Friday, giving up today. 116.90. It went to 117.23. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So you're at 45 million shares versus 57 million. That's not that bad. We'll end up doing probably around 50 million out here today. And that's going to be enough to bust the swing point. We you know we get over the swing point today. Hasn't held price, but that's going to be enough to get over it. And if we go to the SMHs, what you're going to see, folks, you've heard me say this many times. The SMHs drive you up, drive you down drive you all over the place. Bottom line, the SMHs today got to a higher high. Now, the difference is the SMH is going to have volume in it. The swing point there is 4.47 million. We're at 3.4. This is still going to be building a little more cars. On Friday, we did uh, 3.8. Today, we're at 3.4. And we need, we need like 4. 4.4. No, 4. So you know, we're not going to get that in an hour. But we're going to probably get a 3.8 or something, which isn't bad. Because the first day, uh, that only had a 2.7, but then it came down with a 4.4. So in that context, you want something like a 4.2, somewhere around there. So it's eating some of that supply line that's out there. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down 100. We get the NASDAQ off 59. S&Ps are off uh, 17 and a half. Uh, we have gold out here at 1706, silver at 1865. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Come right back.